With the mighty Table Mountain providing a picturesque backdrop, the final injury cloud hanging over Australia's World T20 squad was lifted on Tuesday. Shane Watson confirmed he will bowl in the T20 decider in Cape Town and charged in trouble-free off his long run in the Newlands Nets. Each match has seen a different opening partnership, but Watson has provided some clarity as to where he will bat. I think my take at the moment is going to be more in the top, top order, um, whether it's opening or, or number three, I think. If Yeah, but it's still not totally defined yet. That's um, we're getting... I think we're, we're certainly getting closer to it um, with the with how the um, selectors are talking and the captain as well. At 34, Watson is very much a veteran of this young Australian team and has identified when he will make a decision on his international future. Look, I think more so after the T20 World Cup, uh, where I'll sort of um, have more time to really just process everything that um, has happened. But as I said I'm still I'm living living my dream still, and I'm, I know how incredibly lucky I am. So. Um, while, while I'm still doing that and still you know, absolutely loving everything that I'm doing, you know, whether it's playing for Australia and other parts of the world as well. Um, but there's no doubt I'll have a bit of, bit of time to think about it um, after the T20 World Cup and re reassess from there. But at the moment, I'm, I'm just loving being a part of it. Australia will again rely on a heavy seam bowling attack on Wednesday. But Protea's keeper batsman Quinton de Kock is happy a lethal left arm duo won't be bowling to him. Gladly, Mitch Johnson and Mitch Stark aren't here. Um, so yeah, they've, they've been the only two guys hitting me in the head, so I'm glad they're not here. 